Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's George and today I'm going to show you how I got on making the Terrazzo clock from the June Makerly Crafts subscription box. If you missed the unboxing video, I'll put a link in the description box below as well as a link to some of the other Makerly projects I've completed. I hope you enjoy the video and remember to like, subscribe and check out the rest of my social media which you'll find in the description box. Before we started, we've already cut out the mould and the acetate using the template that they gave us in the kit and we've made a hole in the middle. The next thing we have to do is cover the wooden dowel in masking tape. So I'm going to do that now and so far all the stuff has been in the kit. So I've covered everything in masking tape like the instructions said and now I have to put the dowel through the hole in the cardboard and the acetate together and I've got a bowl here just to rest the mould on so that the dowel can stand with a little bit on the back. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is put all of our decorative tile into the base of the mould. Oh. I'm guessing they should be smooth side down. I want to space them out a little bit. Okay, so we'll put that to one side. And now I have to mix the plaster. So this is a jug that we had already and we've already mixed plaster in it once so it won't hurt it to be used for plaster again. Got my mixing stick from the kit and the instructions said I need 175 mils of water which I've got in there. And now what I need you to do is add that slowly while I stir. Okay. And we're not supposed to leave any lumps, so it... I would hold it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do the bag in here, do not think. I don't know, but yeah, I, don't want, I don't want plaster all over my floor. So now, we just have to pull the plaster into our mould. <laughs> so all, all the tiles are going to move now, even though I'm pouring really slowly. I think the packet said this was their technique for making it random. So. Fair enough. Well, it'd certainly be random. have too much in there. <laughs> well the back doesn't matter too much to say. So. No, but it will probably, yeah it's going to drip all over the work surface. That's fine. Great. <laughs> um, it's only plaster. Yeah. So perhaps if you have a hole in the wall you might want to use your leftovers to fix it. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, so now we need to leave this for half an hour and then we can take it out the mould. So we left it for half an hour. Sounds pretty hard. And then we have to take it out the mould. Do we have to use a damp sponge to uncover some of our tiles? So they gave us a sponge. Okay, I don't have the patience to use the soft side. <laughs>
Looks good. So now we just leave it for a couple of days. No, we've got some here. Oh, now? Huh? Oh. Yeah. Right, so now we're still the edge. Yeah. Should probably wear a mask. So I'm going to leave this for a couple of days to fully harden and then we can put the clock mechanism in. So we'll see you then. So we left the plaster to dry for a couple of days and it's pretty much done. So I'm going to put the clock parts on. So the first thing I have to do is put the rubber washer over the clock and then put the shaft of the clock through the hole. Then the gold washer and then the nut. Okay, so it's a bit too thick. So what I need to do is take off some of the plaster at the back. Okay, so I've shaved some of the plaster off and now the uh, clock spike fits through the hole in the middle and I've bolted it all together. I just need to put the hands on my clock. So we have to put the hour hand on first. Turns out I needed to push down a little bit harder. So we'll try again. That seems better. Okay, so my hands are on the clock. Hooray! Bingo! So that's my clock finished and ready to hang up on the wall. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of my social media accounts which you'll find linked below in the description box. Take care and I will see you again next time. Bye bye!